this is Roy from Arena Mini Four Wheel Drive Club, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And for today's video, I'm going to make a project for myself. As you can see here, I have the Mini Four Wheel Drive uh, Hard Grade, the maintenance space. The Tamiya just uh, got released. Now you can see here, like you can put the shaft, gears screw nuts washer spring washer everything in here and here you can put the setting board and here you can put the motors tamiya tape and the battery and also uh, you can put the grease pen over here okay so it's it's a good tools actually i have to say because i just tried to using this to uh, to rebuild one of my cart uh, later on you will see that video and uh, actually I have to say it's very good then you don't because there's already a spot and just right over there so when you are going to use like uh, let's say you can put like, the nuts or regular nuts everything is at the spot already so when you are looking for it you can just stray looking for the particular spot and then it's like not the screws everywhere and sometimes you can't even find the parts so this one I have to say this one is very good Okay, but back to the, the project of, uh, for the video because this is a good product, it's a good tools. So here what I'm going to do, I want to make it better. So you can see here I bought this cardboard, car, uh, cardboard. and before I was thinking to using the Arcrolic but because uh, when I go to the Home Depot, if the people are living in North America, we have a Home Depot. So I walk into the Home Depot, I was looking for the acrylic and I see the same size of this cardboard, it will cost me around 80 to 90 Canadian dollars. Uh, so it's a little bit very high budget for me, so that's why I was looking for something else. Then I found this cardboard and this size cardboard is only cost me three dollar Canadian so that's really huge difference so no question about it I just choose the cardboard okay so here I'm gonna using this cardboard to do a what I call let, let's for for I can fit this let's call this the Tamiya mat so I call this the Tamiya mat so I'm gonna make uh, the Tamiya, sorry, not Tamiya, the mini four-wheel drive working stations and that board can put this, the Tamiya mat and also I'm, I would like to measure some other sizes gonna fit uh, for my tools like tools, case, tools box and see if can do something else for example, if I can set the uh, the um, the check box okay so let's see what's gonna happen okay let's check the video check it out okay so here I'm just uh, gonna cut this uh, walk like this uh, cardboard in half and then I'm just gonna cut it the size that it can fit in my tools box so if I need to carry it, then I can straight put into my tools box. And now I'm measuring the all the size for my uh, tools box, like the parts box, the parts case, whatever. And there's one thing when I let you guys know if you are going to do something like this if you are trying to make this the size for your uh, parts box uh, you have to make it a little bit bigger uh, not too big just a little bit is good enough then because in the video that uh, later on you can see I uh, keep doing trimming stuff and keep trimming and trimming and sand it and try to make it bigger because when I cut it I just uh, <clears throat> I measure the size just enough but I realize it doesn't fit so as you can see for this one using uh, lots of tools Dremels and the, the blade and I using hand sold 
and uh, the mini hand salt and the sandpapers there's lots of tools that I've been using for just try to uh, make this uh, uh, to cut this uh, cardboard and try to make it fit so as you can see right now I tried to send uh, the cardboard because uh, I realize it's not big enough and the size is not right and I'm cutting the second one and it's always good if you have something hard uh, then you can put the same papers on it then you'll be able to uh, use that to uh, sand the edges or the side that you need to So here I'm trying to figure out the size for the checkbox and see if anywhere I can uh, put the checkbox because the 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 other two on top I tried to make it uh, the sizes fit for another tools box too and now I'm cutting the uh, space for the Tamiya mat. Okay, so as like I said, don't measure it exactly same, just make it a little bigger. So for example, if that says 20, 20 millimeter and make it 21 or 22, that can make your life easier. For me, because this is my first time to do it, so I tried to make it better, so I measured it exactly same, then I'd be able to fix it, even though I know it's gonna take lots of time, but uh, yeah, that's how it is. And as you can see here, like, cause we're using lots of tools, so there's uh, something. It just happened, and it's pretty bad. And but it's a good example for shows the people. Okay, so now it's still trimming the stuff, and this is the size that is gonna be fit in my uh, uh, suitcase. So here is the best thing is just gonna happen. Uh, just watch your volume. You can turn it a little bit lower, because what happens you don't want to see. Yep, I just hurt myself because I didn't realize my hand was under the the point I have to drill it. But it's okay, like shit happens so I just uh, using a paper towel wrap it and try to get this uh, job as, as soon as possible that I can get it done and here because I it hurts really bad so I basically take a rest for a couple days and let it recover then then I'd be able to uh, continue on that so as you can see right now, I tried to make uh, uh, the black mat on top of the stations and make it look a little bit better. And now I'm measuring all the uh, side and cutting the extra pieces and make it exactly uh, fit. Just checking, see if that's too much and is any anywhere is has to be cut now we're doing the, the other side okay so this is basically my uh, workstation for the mini four wheel drive. Okay, and now I'm trying to put the stuff on and see is that 
fit and then I using the all the double sided tape and try to tape it and now we just throw the all the extra stuff then tape the other side uh, of course if you want to using the glue to glue it and that's fine it's totally fine it just see what size and what kind of uh, the case like the parts case that you have then you'll be able to adjust the size that you want so however what uh, what what material that you want to put it on then that's fine it's all all your choices So for this uh, this uh, uh, the working station uh, setting board, uh, I can basically you can see it's two pieces. Uh, if I need to uh, set up, then I just uh, put it on together. And if I need to bring it with me, because I I I using suitcases my like the hand carry suitcases my uh, tools box. So the size you can down to the just fit in my suitcase so if I'm going to somewhere and I just take it off then put it in my suitcase that will be easy, very easy to carry for me and now I'm just tied it up and try to uh, get the everything on the position and put the everything back on and let's see how is the display all right Oh good. Okay, so here is my work uh, work station setting board is done here. So I already put the stickers as you can see our sticker Toronto Mass Tamper and from Dojo and Mad Tang and Zan Blaster. Okay. So here I'm gonna see for this one of course this spot no question about it that's for the Tamiya mat so it's perfectly fit here and this spot is for my tools box there's tools and this one when it open it you can sit on both okay and this one can be over here and here can be check box the check box can be both and those two spots it's also fitting this kind of uh, tools box as well okay so if i don't need this tools box i can still put this one two three here okay so this is the uh, this the project is complete and one thing i want to say in the end uh whoever just doing when you're doing the project, no matter you're building the car or you are making something else, if you're using all the 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 rotor, uh, rotary tools, drills, hand drills, doesn't matter what kind of tools that you're using, please be careful because you might get yourself hurt. As you can see in the video, I just get hurt. I hurt myself because I didn't, I wasn't. Uh, focus and concentrate when I was doing that drill the whole ad because I want to make this job done as soon as possible and I didn't realize my finger was just oh at the under the, the the board so I just drilled through it then I hurt myself it's to be honest it's it's really hurt okay because the, the drill is right into the nail so but I still get this one done as soon as I can so here this is the the setting board that we're gonna have shows in the later on in my video okay so this is today's video and if you like this video please like subscribe and share this video okay thank you don't forget to press the bell so if i have the new video then you will note it right away thank you i'll see you next time